Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today we're going to check it out how to do this colorful Taurus knot using Photoshop and Illustrator. Okay, we're going to start in Illustrator. Select the star tool, press and hold shift plus alt, create a star, don't release it and press the down arrow. So it's going to remove some of the edges until it's going to become a triangle. Press and hold shift. Okay, from here, I'm going to select the circle, the ellipse tool. And I'm going to go here to this edge, press and hold shift plus alt, create on it a circle and go the way all the way down. I also going to select both and remove the field click on the field click on the none. I'm going to select the circle, press and hold alt, drag it. This way it's going to create a copy, drag it down until they intersect here. Press and hold Alt, press and hold Shift plus Alt, drag it to the left until they intersect in this edge. I'm going to remove the triangle and for example, I'm going to double click on this circle, double click on, select the pen tool, click here where it intersect. See that? It's written intersect, click. Now it created an anchor point there. I'm going to do the same thing here click right here there you go i'm going to select the direct selection tool from here i'm going to delete this anchor point press on delete i also going to delete this one so check this out it's going to end up here which is really good i'm going to delete also this and i'm going to do the same with the rest of the circle just double click select pen tool create an anchor point where they intersect or where they end select the direct selection tool remove the unnecessary anchor points Okay, so now as you can see, we have the Celtic knot right here. So from here, what we need to do is connect these pads. As you can see, they are separated. So you need to go to the join tool, select the join tool. So first I'm going to select the direct selection tool. I'm going to select these two pads in here and I'm going to select the join tool and I'm going to select it like this and make sure they cross like this and they just connect it. I'm going to do the same thing with the rest too. Okay, we're almost ready. We just need to remove the unnecessary anchor points. As you can see, we got one here, two here, and we got still a couple of them. So I'm going to select the pen tool and I'm going to long click. And as you can see, we got delete anchor point and add anchor point. I'm going to go with delete anchor point. Press and hold shift and click on some of these anchor points and remove all the anchor points. So as you can see, it's uh, these still are going to remain curvy so it won't make it flat. I'm going to select the direct selection tool, select this edge, press and hold shift, press this edge and then this edge. From here I can bring these little circles and make them you know curvy, something like this. I'm going to press ctrl c, go to the photoshop. So now what we're going to do is create a new layer here and make sure that we're on none of these layers. So we are none of these layers right now. We're on this. I'm going to click somewhere around here. So as you can see, it deselected all of the layers. So now I'm going to go to the pets. Here's the pets. If you don't have it, go to windows and select pets and press control V. Make sure to select path. Click OK. I'm going to press control T, press and hold shift plus alt, scale it up. I'm going to go back to the layers. Click on the first layer that we created. I'm going to go now to onsplash.com. I'm going to type into the search, I don't know, colorful. I'm going to go with this color. So make sure to save it and import it into Photoshop. Okay, so I imported the color and now I'm going to create a new layer. Now I'm going to select the mixer brush tool. Make sure that here is clean brush. And also make sure that you are on the layer with the with this color, okay, with the background. I'm going to press and hold Alt, position it to the center, click. Okay, I'm going to uncheck this. I'm going to go to this layer. I'm going to select the pen tool, right click. What is that? Stroke pad, click on it and make sure to select mixer brush tool. So this is it. Click, click OK. And there you go. This is how you make this really colorful trick in Photoshop. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates. Also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye bye.